session today we will uh, mostly discuss about the installation of cedar i hope today it will complete and further then we will discuss about the mask cd scan cd util gen util all of them part of uh, climate data analysis tool Yeah, today's day eight. So uh, I came to Miniconda Linux installer, Python two point seven. Linux 64, I copied it. I will just show you that right now bash rc is nothing with uh, very minimal stuffs are there. Now I am downloading this miniconda. So miniconda script has been downloaded that I am executing it here. It's an open source license, which I'm agreeing, yes. So right now it is installing a mini conda in one of my HPC. So once it, it just successfully installed, Now you can see that in bash rc, these lines being added. It just appended to the bash rc to start the conda and conda, make it as default conda. Now I can download from cdat. This is cdat website, GitHub page. There I'm just using the cdat 8.1 Linux Python 2 version. If you're starting, you can directly go with the Python 3 and see that a uh, Python 3 version. This also, I'm just downloading it. And just take the file, it is downloaded. Now, they have mentioned that you can see it. So here we are just creating. Sorry, I used the wrong file. We should use this OEAML file. Now it will take some five minutes to download all the necessary packages, which uh, comes in the CDAT bundle. It may take some time. Meanwhile, uh, we'll go back to yesterday's demo, which I made some mess up. Mess up with the ASCII file, ASCII demo. I'll show you that. Now uh, I made it properly in file because yesterday when I replaced commas, 
it was measured with multiple fields now i made proper input file with everything comma separated we have multiple years rows are years this columns are 12 months and first line is a commented line and first row also we should neglect it so this is the script just wrote in a single line so what we are doing importing numpy numpy dot load text then i am just loading this text delimiter is comma with the comma separated we, we have to make it and use calls we are using range or x range i am just generating numbers from 1 to 13 because zero is the zero column i don't want it and unpack true otherwise it will become a single list then commenter line is hash line wherever the hash is there that's a commenter line which will not be loaded in into the numpy now i'll just execute this script yes now this f f is that which we loaded we converted as t to numpy in a single line this f contains shape of uh, 12 by 129 129 years are there 12 months this we can reshape it which i already reshaped it using this command f dot reshape 129 years and 12 months you can see that so this is how you can do the uh, simple work ascii can be loaded into the numpy also there was uh, there are few more modules uh, one of the module is called pandas using pandas also you can do the uh, this kind of stuff and pandas you can uh, load the event text also i mean string also you can load it very easily and then you can group it together but i'm not de going detail into the pandas let me check whether it is installed yes now it, this is installing in our conda which we are trying to install So it just says that you can upgrade your conda version using this command I'm just copying it fine then it is installing jupyter and see that 8.1 version gen util which we'll discuss it today and esmf this will be used for regrading and hdf5 to read read the output I mean, uh, read the hd5 files And PyQt, this is the module using that only we will be plotted in background. This PyQt will be utilized to plot it. And this uh, most one of the important module called Vince form. This also having good uh, utility, many, many utilities. I mentioned pandas then base map that's that will be useful for uh, matplotlib plotting so this is installing and this is the vcs visual canvas system tomorrow we'll be discussing about this because this it's a cdat it's one uh, package for the plotting so it may take some time meanwhile we'll start with today session Okay, let me go to uh, example. Yes, now I connected to one more machine.
I will go to today's yesterday's continuation, the same folder. It's still installing. Yes, it's a little 440. So yesterday we have seen how to open the NC files just using CDMS2 dot open and the absolute path of your NC file. Then you can do EF dot any object you whatever you are assigning that object dot list variables that will list out whatever the variable set contains. Then using normal parentheses, if you're using it, it will load uh, the entire data into your RAM memory or in your Python shell or in your Python program. Otherwise, as uh, yesterday I mentioned, use the square bracket to get the info. Just if you want to retrieve the meta information, just use this you will be listing out the, all the meta information. Or you can specify the latitude, whatever the latitude you want and longitude you want or time or level. So all the four axes you can access. Yeah, also I mentioned about the squeeze option yesterday itself and order also I mentioned whatever order you want, either first time, then latitude, then longitude, that's in general by default. If you want to change the order, like first longitude, then latitude, then time, then you can specify it here. This also saying the same thing. Then, yeah, in see that uh, this option is there called bounds. Everything's having uh, bounds. All the access you can create bounds using uh, CD util. This bounds is very necessary to access any particular uh, latitude or particular longitude. If you want to access, then you can create automatic bounds so that that will not uh, bring the wrong answer even for time also there is bounds bounds means uh, this is your particular lat long and this uh, this is the bounds boundary like this is the lat latitude bound one this is lat uh, latitude bound two and this is the longitude bound one and this is longitude bounds two so in see that if you specify some values within this range, any range, th that will bring that this box value. So that option is there. So that I'll show it now. Suppose if we have already loaded some value, then if we're uh, uh, accessing this 3.1 and 3.1, which is not available as of now, because th that's a regular grid. And you, for in that case, you have to use the third argument like a COB, which is the closed and open bounds. This is mentioned the argument name in abbreviation, closed and open bounds. So that's the third option. Let me try this. So, yeah. So yesterday I mentioned it contains this much uh, time profile. The time length is the, uh, this from 1850 to 2015 monthly data SSD is there. And then it, it just brought that single latitude longitude. So it just loaded everything, but I mentioned this latitude and this longitude, so it just brought that. So I think this data, this data is uh, 
since that is SST data, it doesn't contain any data over this latitude longitude. That's why it shows masked on. Still sorry, maybe network delay. Let it go. So now we are going to discuss about CD util. It's a climate data specific utilities is there. So that's called CD util. So this contains a collection of sub packages useful to deal with the climate. Also now weather data also, it will be very useful. Say for example, region, you can predefined regions are there or we can create our own region. Then times, times to, to deal with the time dimension like uh, like season, season average or daily average or time profile average or accumulation, whatever you want to do that can be done. Or vertical, vertical is another vertical regret you can do like a pressure level if you, if you want to produce some in, in between some pressure level which you don't have. Using this tool you can compute it. Also you can do average, average over any specific domain also specific access can be done like time access average or lat long average also can be done. I'll show demo to most of the stuff. I can do import CD util. I can get CD util dot region. Yes. So when I do CD util dot region, this is it contains multiple variables. Say so this is Antarctic zone and Arctic zone. And this is northern hemisphere. And southern hemisphere also we can see that. That's a long name and short names are there and tropical also there. So what I'm going to do, I will just show some of the demo. See this. So how we are going to use it while loading itself, you can pass this argument or even after loaded also, you can pass this argument. So what I'm going to do, I'm just slicing. First I will load into. I just loaded the entire SST. It may take some time, but let me load so that I can show you most of the demo. Just loaded. So entire SST shape is like 174, that's a time profile. And this is one, 180 latitude, 360 degree numbers, it'll be on degree. So within that, I'm going to extract Northern Hemisphere. So it just extracted this Northern Hemisphere. Now you can see that. So it just extracted from 90 to e equator to north. You can see that it's it just equated to north, north pole. Similarly, suppose if you want to create our own, our own region, we, we can create it. Say for example here, they created Nino 3.4 region. Let me also create it. Then the syntax is cdms2 dot selectors dot selector. Within that, we are passing the cd util dot region. Then domain. In the in that we are passing what is the latitude, what is the longitude we want. So here minus phi to phi. I mean phi south to phi north. Then longitude one to 190 to 240.
so this area is defined now i'm going to use my own domain this is nano 3.4 sorry nano 3.4 So now you can see that it's a different uh, region. So it's start from minus 4.5 to plus 4.5. And start from 192 to 240 longitude. So it's a very easy to predefine our own region. So once you define that in your program, then entire program or sub, sub modules, you, you just need to specify like Indian region or African region, just a specific, once you define that, just call that variable. It will be very simple as it is. Okay, now it shows that interpolation. Now we are going to do interpolation. So in this example, what they are doing, uh, just listing out first loading that their SST, then yes. Uh, they are acting on data set like our target grid. Then, using this method called regridder, from regrid you can import the regridder or re import regrid dot regrid dot regridder. We can call it. Then we can create a function to regrid, or you can just do regrid on the fly. Let me show you that. Yes, then, so I need another data set. I'm going to use I'm going to use ERSST. Let me open some. Some sample, uh, one of the file I'm opening it. So this also contains SST and it's contained error and anomaly. So I'm going to use this SST. So now you can see that this is latitude length is just 89 because uh, you can see that uniform grid from minus 88 to 88 by two degree. And similarly longitude also you can see that it's just 180. The, this also like a uniform grid, it's a two by two, by two resolution. Whereas our IST, uh, our SST, which is loaded from add IST, add IST is the uh, observed data for the sea surface temperature from the Hadley Center, whereas this ER SST is from the European Center. This is also another uh, observed, observed data. We can see that this shape is uh, so one degree by one degree, that's why we got 180 latitude and 360 longitude. Whereas ERSST is 89 or 180, 89 la latitude and 180 longitude. So now what I'm going to show you, 
suppose if if i want to do correlation between this uh, had ist and erssd both should be common grid so i'm uh, had ist is the higher resolution that i'm going to interpolate to match with the erssd so erssd is this one and this is our target grid so what i'm going to do i'm just getting the target still i'm just using the meta information only like get grid is there so it's just bringing the meta information what is its uh, grid shape then using our sst and making this i had had ist say 2 degree so 2 by 2 this is our array is original one then you can do dot regrid you need to specify your target target grid so it is doing regrid i didn't specify the uh, second argument right now uh, by default it has taken the linear linear interpolation for the regrading multiple options are there like you can use the conserve or linear or patch each method will do the different interpolation and it also suggesting to use regrid 2 that's a old one but a new version is the using esmf regrading method these three will be done or libcf using that linear also will be done so it has done it is regridded now you see that can you see shape so this is our target the target we derived from the er sst so it's in a very very simple manner we just regridded the entire entire this 1743 time dimension just re regridded to this to match with the er er sst now we can do whatever way you want to interpolate or all the operation can be done suppose if you are using uh, if you want to use this regrider and as a function you can create your own function this is just a simple stuff we did suppose the same target same target if you want to do do it for multiple files in a loop or again again if you want to reuse it you can create your own function so this is the Sorry, that option is now not there. But you can use this regrid as it is. So that will just regrid. It was showing uh, option. Option we have to use. If you want to use this option, then we have to use this regrid method option as a argument here. Then you can pass whatever method you want to pass it. suppose let me choose cancer cancer will take more time so it will take a longer time than the linear so similarly you can do the vertical or pressure regrid if we have pressure level data then once you loaded your data you can use a pressure regrid and within that list list of whatever the intervals we want you can pass as a list so that will produce the new levels suppose if we have like 850 hectopascal and 700 in between if you want to produce 800 hectopascal then you can specify 800 or suppose if we have from 850 to 500 if you want have multiple levels in between then you can insert those many levels as a argument 
this is actually log nil log nilier interpolations it's just not a linear interpolation for the pressure level yes so far i didn't show you how to create uh, or dump into new nc file i'll show you that and now this is done and uh, regraded using conserve method also it is done so what i'm going to do i'm going to store this information store this data into another nc file so let me check what is system data information everything is correct or not see this id is changed Okay, SST underscore CDMS regrid, which I don't want. I'll just retain with the SST only. So I'll change that ID now. Then others uh, information are retained as it is. Time is there. Latitude, longitude is there. So I'm just assigning dot ID is equal to SST. So now you can see that its uh, ID is, has been renamed with the SST. Now I'll just use let me get to what is my current working directory. Yes, so here I don't have write permission, so I'll write into my home folder. Let me create some new directory. So this folder now we created. Now I'll just open. So under demo, I'll what do? This is the file name. Two DB two degree. So anyway, then I'm just opening the right mode. So this variable, I'm, I'm just writing it. So this is throwing some warnings because we are writing into uh, we are right now it is writing into NetCDF four version with a classic format, no compression. If you want to compress it, then we can set these values. <coughs> like uh, if you're enabling this, then that will like a flat level level what level it has to uh, compress it that barely we can enable it at the beginning of your program or before writing it so that will compress and it will reduce your file size now it is written so once it is written we must close it so now it has closed Now you can see that it's just now produced this 1607. Yeah, probably just now produced what we produce right now, this NC file. Yeah, then I mentioned that uh, using mask. What he are doing? Uh, resize yes I already mentioned this ssd dot mask shape you can do the mask also 
so if you just do mosque if you just to bring in the only the mosque element or the mosque my uh, transformation suppose if i'm extracting latitude over let me go with minus 10 to 10 As I mentioned, we, I just brought only la uh, land, sorry, the data over the Indian Ocean. Of course, if you want to create your own data, or if you want to modify this data with the maskings at different places, and then you want to, if you want to create a new variable, that can be done. So in general, if you want to create it, so let me do, yeah, MV2 is there, import MV2. That's uh, part of our CDAT. MV2 is same as numpy.ma. It's a short demo, it's a mass vary, but it that numpy will not retain any of our meta information, but MV2 is uh, made it or the purpose of uh, this MV2 module is to retain the meta information along with the mask. So we can see that this is the, there is no mask so far, but a little little mask is there. So I'm just thinking what example I should show to you. Suppose this is our first data. So I'll just take the first data example. So here, what I'm going to do, demo max 28, 26. Okay, then you can create the uh, mask. So this is our mask, mask, uh, mask is contained somewhere true, which means th those places having continuous, it may be land point. So this this value, if you want to create a separate variable and write into another variable, you can create same as two dot whatever variable you have. Like you, if you're starting from scratch, suppose if you're created using numpy array also, that also you can specify. Here I just mentioned numpy dot um, same demo dot data, and you can pass argument demo dot mask. Just for example, I'm just showing this, but if you have some other mask, suppose uh, if, if you already imported this Lansing mask from some other variable, say for IMD, IMD data you are taking and then loading that mask information that you want to apply with some different data. So you can create a new variable and all the arguments you can keep it like ID, then latitude, longitude, you can set your own latitude, longitude, everything. So that will be created. So, but once you create a new new one, so this meta information is gone. Dimension is there, but uh, latitude, what is latitude? So that information is gone. It's just showing axis zero, axis one. So we, we have to create either our own latitude axis or try to get access from other. Yeah, from here I'll just extract the, from here I'll just extract the access. We can do get access list, just bringing 
all the access into single list. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to keep it as a demo. Demo dot set access list. So once we set access list, then it now it is back back with the latitude and longitude. So you, you can play like this. Yeah, then one more important thing, this I want to show you. So CD scan, yesterday one of our uh, as well how to handle with the multiple NC files. So let me go to this place. You can see that this error is still having these many NC files, multi NC files. Let me count it. So there are uh, 19,928 files are there. So what we are going to do, we are going to use uh, CD scan. As I know it is installed over here. It's a climate data tool within that scan is there. Then the command is like if and x, that's a redirecting tool. So I'm just specifying where I want to create the XML file. XML is just a text file, it's just in KBs. Then I'm just specifying, just scan all the NC files, start.nc. So it will scan all the NC files and it will uh, store the meta information to this XML file, that path I specified. In my home area, I'm writing it. Once it is done, so it is just uh, getting, uh, reading all the NC files just to getting the collecting the information meta information and appending to one xml file so using that xml file you can read all these nc files together like you no need to worry where, where this uh, your data is lying there in from anywhere you can just create this cd scan and scan uh, all the nc files dump into xml just access your xml as a single file I think this is having some network delay. So let me just retry one more time. Yeah, it's just now re uh, created. It shows that here it has returned this XML file. So I'm going back to my area. This XML file out.xml is created. As you seen earlier, it's just bringing all these three then. just displaying shape so we have seen that 9928 uh, time steps are there and one level uh, level is uh, let me show you that level what is that so level is just a zero meter so they had some level but it shows that it's zero meters first also zero last of zero unit is meter so it's a sea surface height is zero and you can see that it's starting with the days since, but it may be having like it's a monthly files, monthly boundary. So by this way, you can um, uh, load all the time profile in, which is created by CD scan. So the CD scan will work for uh, what are the files, NC files, HDFI or control files 
we see uh, that can't handle can't read grip one grip two as it is we should create the control file an index file through that uh, it will read as, as usual so i'll just show with it's already 450 i'll just show with the times like you can create your own times uh, you can create Yes, suppose if you're reading with the wrong, uh, wrong time profile, you can recreate your time profile. Or say for example here, it was showing it as a day since, because this XML we didn't specify proper time information. But while creating also we can specify the argument. In CD scan there are multiple arguments. We didn't give any argument. We can overwrite or we can overwrite this time profile also using using this kind of set time bounds monthly let me set set this so that is available in cd util okay, it will load everything Once it is loaded, then we can do that. Yeah, uh, this one. Segmentation faults. I'll just keep this one. Yeah, once once we define proper time axis, then you can create our own uh, time mean. Suppose a DJF. If we, if we have a variable, then you can use cdutil.djf, then that will bring the djf of that. So I will do it here, cdutil. What is, like a demo. Here we have, Okay, then with this I'll apply. Okay, it doesn't have proper time bounds. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create time bounds. For in the so now it is created CD dot uh, December January February average for the, is all the years. Now we can see that it just reduced to 146 uh, time profile. So this is just average bit, average of three months. Similarly, you can create our own season, JJS also. Suppose if you want to create uh, anomaly, you, that's a single line comment is there. You can use cdutil dot annual cycle for all the 12 months then departure then you are a variable so if you didn't pass the second argument by default second argument is argument is our climate climatology if you are not passing then it will compute its own uh, climatology from the entire data so let me just create it so 
So I'm just using this SSD anomaly. I'm just using the entire time profile for the. Oh, so this will this is containing uh, like from 1850 to 2015 monthly data, and its anomaly has been created. You can see that. So this is anomaly. Anomaly minimum is this minus 1.2, 1.6 and maximum is two. Whereas actual data is varying from 24 to 31, 34. So if you pass second argument as the climatology data and with, with that climatology, it will take the departure. So I'll just keep this it's just normal average in uh, CD util one one of the advantage called average you can use this CD util dot average function. So let me do average. What is this SST India? Yeah, this shape is there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do I'm just going to do a, a uh, time average. This is the average. I need to specify or at what uh, axis do you want to create the average? So I'm just specifying this. So now it's just the area uh, time over time it is produced the average or it just does the average you can see that what is what it's uh, max and minimum so this is time average similarly you can create over latitude only if you want to create average then that also can be done you can see that so over latitude sorry x is the longitude so over longitude it is just create the average you can produce both lat long together so now it, you can see that it's just over latitude longitude i mean the spatial over spatial domain it just does the average and then just uh, retaining the time information or time axis if you do that even time also then it's just a single value doesn't have any shape so it just brought brought into single value so we can see that that over indian ocean from 1850 to 2015 all the 12 months average time area average and time average for the annual mean that's a 28 degrees celsius so in average or one more option is there you can see all the options here weighted average is there and action action is a uh, average or sum if you want to do cumulative or uh, accumulation you can use the sum option so this is just example all compiling all together and finally i'll just touch up this just giving introduction about this gen util general utilities it is containing uh, mostly statistical parts like correlation covariance Geometric mean, lagged correlation, lagged covariance, linear regressions, mean absolute difference, median, or percentiles calculation, RMS, standard deviation, variance, autocorrelation, rank, auto covariance. These many utilities, utilities are there. So you can explore this further. then there is a filter is there here you, you can do oh, moving average many things are there like these filters using this filter you can do the running mean average so this running average or smooth 
and statistics uh, as i showed i listed out everything so here rms is the standard deviation is there variance what are all the things so now it's up to you what do you want to do then you can just use this genital dot statistics dot suppose std then what is my yes so i'm just calculating what is standard deviation then again i'm specifying what is which axis over time axis i am just want to calculate the uh, standard deviation i'm just storing to this really standard deviation so it just calculated in just a fraction of second it just calculated <coughs> so standard deviation is a 0.5 to like um, one one point one over this indian sst domain so then yeah this here correlation is there you can pass a and b and get the correlation again you can specify the time um, over which axis finally c that supports rectilinear grid curvilinear grid or generic grid so you can read even the curvilinear grid, grid also so that's advantage so with this uh, today's session i'm finishing it i'm just uh, acknowledge uh, uh, dr dean williams and us for pcmdi lawrence livermore national laboratory also dr johnny finally i thank my professor who made this presentation for teaching cdats let me come to question session please come to question session let me check so uh, you can still see that it's still installing there is some internet uh, connectivity problem but this is a procedure once you installed it you can just use as it is you have to activate just conda activate whatever the environment name we created see that 8.1 and i would suggest uh, ncmrl wf scientists do not install it because in both the hpcs Mehir and Baskara already I installed as a module load. Admin I requested an admin so admin has installed. Just to search your module load or module avail, see that it will bring you at least two to three versions. You can utilize one of them. Just module load and see that. And yesterday, as uh, people asked about the presentation, so here I mentioned it. Also in the mail, also I mentioned I uploaded uh, today's and tomorrow's presentation. Also, you can get it from here. Then yesterday I asked for homework. I hope you will continue that. Yesterday's homework also I mentioned it here, and today's homework also I mentioned here. The same also I sent you mail regarding the same homework. you can do the exercise on this okay then people ask many questions okay okay then this i will read it and i will do this i'll keep the installation instruction the same the, this page itself by tomorrow so this option as i mentioned that if uh, you that's up to uh, either you want nearest to grid point or uh, if you want to take the take the linear interpolate and then find it or that option i mentioned uh, after latitude longitude you have to specify the third argument either closed or open bounds based on that it will bring the data 
you know it is specify bounds but you can create the bounds for the lat long after creating the region of interest can you map the rest of the regions yes so this you can do it as your own exercise you can do it let's see uh, sst is having mask let's see other example like a wind field and how to mask land or ocean this also you can do it as your own exercise i just, just showed you example how to create a new variable or if we have already uh, mask is there suppose sst this this doesn't have any mask right as well it's a standard suppose this is our variable you can do mask is equal to then the, that mask array you need to make sure that is having same shape so it will just assign the new mask what are the mask you are assigning that will be assigned to that mask yes this i, I mentioned that if you are not passing uh, climatology for that example which i showed it will just take the entire average from actual data like this is this data contains from 1850 to 2015 so entire data has been taken into uh, to create the climatology on the go and then it has calculated anomaly but we can pass the second argue, second argument if you already calculated climatology over a specific time that uh, you can pass as a second argument and based on that it will produce the anomaly you can go through the slides which i already sh shared it here like a day 7 yesterday and today's and tomorrow's so using that you can do the homework by yourself and explore more options so tomorrow we will be discuss about uh, visualization using cdads that's a uh, vcs will come exam grace will come then i'll just uh, show the glance about the matplotlib then i am thinking to introduce about cdo how to use cdo inside python to simplify our work then day after tomorrow i'll just so uh, concluding session any doubts is there then we can finish on the day let me ask any doubt is there in the zoom okay okay same question asked there so it's fine so with this today i am concluding today's session tomorrow we'll meet again thank you